Get ready to lace up your tennis shoes. The Walk for Autism is almost here, and it's time for inclusion and fun. Our Michael Higdon will be emceeing that event this year. She sat down with one of the Walk's board members to discuss what you can expect and why this walk impacts so many people. It is at Hampton Park. It's on April 27th. Um, it's a just a morning of just fun, family. There'll be there's food, there'll be games, and then there's a gentle walk where we just all walk together in support of our community with an autism diagnosis. Um, it's a fundraiser to help raise money to support families that may have a child with autism. Um, it can help with behavioral therapies, potentially you know, art therapy, music therapy, there's so many just different opportunities to really support that community and that's what we do this for. The silent auction will actually be set up there so you can walk through and see. There'll be vendors there that um, do different things within our community to support the autism community, games, uh, there'll be music playing, um, some of the, the autism community will actually be performing as well, which um, is near and dear to my heart. Um, God, my goodness, there's just so many fun. There'll be Minnie Mouse will be there. <laughs> There'll be some fun characters there. And it's just, again, music and food and fun, but a way to really learn more and connect with one of the most beautiful communities we have in our area. I don't even know that we have a, a set financial goal. Honestly, we just want people to come out and, and meet that community. You can buy tickets online. You can go online and visit our website as well. Uh, I mean, we would love to have hundreds. We would love to have a thousand come. Every year it's a big event. I mean, Hampton Park is pretty crowded um, for it, but it's not too crowded. It's a comfortable crowded. Um, but come out and see um, what this community is about, or if you're already included in that community, come and just celebrate with us that day. If you need a happy place, if you need a place to be where everyone is welcomed and loved, come up for that, come to the Walk for Autism, because it's that. Um, for me personally, I have a brother um, who is on the spectrum, and um, he's nonverbal, and he's the oldest of the four of us, and I can't imagine life without him. I can't imagine being who I am without him having the impact he's had on my life and the life of my sisters and the life of my parents. Um, he's truly a blessing. I'm also a principal at a school and some of my students um, have an autism diagnosis and you know, you become a better person. Your life is more fulfilled if you are open and welcoming to the beauty of um, our autism community. I mean, we are blessed that they're in our lives. Um, and so it, it's definitely something important to me. So April 27th, um, it starts at nine and I believe the walk will be right around 10 o'clock. And again, don't be like, oh, it's a walk. I can't. It is absolutely the most gentle, beautiful walk there is. Hampton Park is beautiful. It's in downtown Charleston. You can't beat the location. And certainly this time of year is just you know, idyllic. So um, it's a great thing to just come out and then spend a few hours. Just bring family with you, bring friends with you. Just be ready for a great day. But I just think it's definitely an important fundraiser for our community um, with an autism diagnosis. Um, just the opportunities now that are there, including the variety of therapies, early intervention is so critical. And for families who are wanting to do everything they can for their child, there are just so many financial barriers that they're having to, to cross. So if we as an organization at Walk for Autism can just help one more family get that opportunity. You know, I have a daughter who's a music therapy student and when she comes home and tells me stories about connecting, it's beautiful. Art therapy is beautiful. Equine therapy, behavioral therapy makes such an impact on lives. So if we can raise money to help those families give their children one more opportunity, come support that.